doesn't look too bad. Um, could be worse with being brush painted. Um, we'll, we'll go over a few pieces again. We're going to spray the top of this tank today. Um, pull it out. I'm going to slide some cardboard in here and mask the um, steering wheel off. We'll put some, we might even put cardboard in here and just hold it up or something like that or tape it back. Um, back to the seat or something silly to start hold the back out of the road and we'll, we'll spray this. And then probably sort of blow it in along here. I painted a little bit along here with the brush. Um, I may even spray the top of this, just give it a coat over top. Um, maybe just mask this out. I might repaint that again by hand, I don't know, we'll figure that out. And same cardboard over here, cover all that up. Try and get in around the um, fuel fitting. Blow a coat of paint over that bit, and I think the rest of it should be okay. I'd like to get in here with a paintbrush and we'll have another go now that it's dry um, and try and just get some of these last little pieces inside the head. Just bloody awkward with that carburetor on the road. But um, it hasn't come up too bad. It hasn't come up too bad at all. Um, so this piece hasn't been painted. This piece has, like all that is, but it's bloody actually a pretty good match. So what we'll do is the rest of the stuff that hasn't, doesn't look so quite so hot. Might just give it a cut with some, or just give it a rub over some some polish. Just to brighten it up. Maybe. Because I've pretty much done everything in here. I'm we'll just to go over everything and just double check if I haven't missed too many spots, but it's like everything. Get this out of the road so I can get in and get in, that pedal done. Bits and pieces. So this is basically done now. Um, this is basically done. We'll just get the last little pieces touched up. I'll get in here with a paintbrush, mix up a little bit. Or we'll just I might even just do it grey without the hardener on it and just paint it. It'll dry. It just takes longer, and this won't be quite so hard. But it's not going to matter in some bolts. And we'll finally get these bloody things painted. And I'm just keep getting put it on the back burner because we had to keep fixing the other silly little things touch up those bolts as well and around these little bits and pieces but yeah like it's minor stuff oh, and I think I've got a couple little red spots from when I repainted the wheels the other day yeah another couple little just minor just touch ups basically this is done it's black I think we've got it now. <laughs> I think. <laughs> What's funny? How yeah, silly bloody issues. Oh, um, we've got to put some stove black on the exhaust. But I think we're done. I think we are done. Righty. Hope you can see me there. All right. So I brush painted most of this yesterday, um, and actually brush painted the tank this morning. Probably actually stalled. It's very slightly stalled because it's been so cold. But I don't like it. Um, the other stuff laid down right, but just on the steel instead of on the cast, um, it just doesn't look right. So we're going to end up wet sanding this back down, but it's, yeah, it's too sticky to put the sand. But I might just give this a light rub. Basically, we'll just spray some cardboard in here, mask the steering wheel off, and we'll just, we'll just wet sand it a little bit and um, just flatten it off and then re spray it. Um, we'll dry it out and re spray it, but I'll wet sand it here. We'll sand it here. So, I'll wet sand this anyway. In the meantime, I'll go find a um, bottle that I can put a little bit of water in and I'll be back.
Right, we'll give you a, a wind up for the day. Again. <laughs> Take 10. No, just kidding. Probably about four, three or four, just keep getting interrupted. But anyway. Right, so this is 99.9% .9 done. Um, the only thing we're going to do is paint the crank handle black because we forgot and we want to repaint the bottom part of this exhaust again it's sort of soaked up the paint that's showing um, through in a few spots it doesn't look very nice so we want to repaint the bottom part again but everything else is touched up um, and finished like the um, foot rests for the, um, you know, for the brake levers and the foot rest levers the, all the little hand knobs and bits and pieces are all painted steering wheels painted um, same on this side, um, where I touched the grey with the red the other day when I redone the wheels, that's done. PDO wheels painted, like the little knob and that's painted. We repainted the um, intake and exhaust manifold black, just touched all that up. So this is this one done, apart from that crank handle and a little bit on the exhaust, it's done. So that's cool, so, and then tomorrow, um, we're going to repaint the um, tank. I sanded it back down by hand, as you would have seen. Um, we I actually brush painted it, but it just it didn't flatten out very nice on here. Like on here, it actually flattened out alright. Like it didn't look that bad, but on here, it just I don't know for some reason it just wouldn't flatten out. Whether it was a bit thicker or something, I don't know. But but yeah, so we sanded that down. If we had another hour at night, um, we would have painted it, but just didn't have the time. But this is all basically ready to go. We'll give it another final wipe down in the morning just to make sure it's got rid of all any dust and crap out of it. We'll give it a blow down and we'll mask this out, mask the steering wheel out, all those sorts of things. Um, I may have to repaint this, but it's no biggie. And yeah, we'll reflect that. Um, well, we cut the end of the exhaust on this and pointed it down so it's not blown black on the back guards where we've repainted. Um, so yeah, and I'll have to touch up a few bits and pieces underneath and stuff like that. It's just, you know, it's not very easy to get to yet. And we've started touching up around the wheels, the black. I think we're going to just brush, quick, give it a quick brush paint in the worst spots on the insides of the wheels. As well as the green, or greeny grey, what do you want to call it? Um, and as you probably would have seen as well. But none of this in here was already painted. This was all crusty and yuck. Like this was never painted. They just sprayed around it and that's over top. Um, so we painted black in there. These are green or greeny grey, what do you want to call it? Same in here. Um, as you've probably seen in the other video, um, when we were bugging around here, we put some bolts in here because there was no, it's like one bolt on each side. And they weren't pulled in properly and lots of stuff, so we fixed all that. That's on the last video. Just in case you wonder what we're doing. So yeah, it's just it's final touch-ups in here. Paint the bonnet, repaint the steering wheel. We'll just brush paint that. Probably brush paint the intake manifold and exhaust and all everything on that side as well. Make sure it looks good. And they're done. They're done. Oh, yeah, we painted the edge of that wheel that's still drying. With that same paint as we did everything else. So yeah, she's almost done. Alrighty guys, cheers.
Morning guys, so um, yesterday you seen us uh, paint the tractor in bits and pieces. Uh, we were going to originally just paint the um, bonnet and the top of the radiator area. Um, that, or the fuel tank in the radiator area. Uh, we were just originally going to paint that but we decided um, we had a couple of pieces of flick around the back um, that I sanded back. But we decided that we just we just missed the guards and stuff just to even the colours up. Um, just to get rid of some of that older looking colour um, without having to polish it up. So we just flicked it basically, just a couple of light coats over just to bring the colour even. So yeah, the only thing we're going to do now is just, um, Dad's already painted underneath the steering wheel, just going to paint the top of it, he sanded it back and cleaned it up. So it's basic, basically just um, finishing work like that now with paint and just put it back together and make sure it's right but I'll turn the camera around and give you a decent walk around this thing show you what it looks like painted yeah these are the pieces I flipped around the back because when I painted the insides of them unfortunately with the brush there was some paint run down through here and run on the run on the outside so it looked terrible and um, you can still see a very minor mark in it but I sanded the worst of it off so we just gave it a couple of cut, quick coats like it's a, an old tractor it's all pretty beaten up anyway so but at least it looks better than a dirty great run down there. Um, same with that side. But yeah, so we just basically I just missed everything with a couple of light coats just to even the colour up and make it look uniform. Um, gave it a just I wound the pressure down on the gun and the fan down on the gun and I just lightly just blew a little bit of green in here because it was just patchy in places. Flicked a little bit on the inside to the back guards too, just to tidy that because there was a couple of little beer spots and chips and all that sort of stuff um, so yeah that's what the tank looks like now um, it's not dead perfect because there's still a little bit of lininess in it um, it probably probably could have stripped it right off but oh, that's a lot of extra work for, for basically not a lot a lot of extra um, value if you know what I mean like it's an old tractor again they were never dead perfect, they are all probably brush painted or hand painted anyway way back in the day but yeah, so at least it looks all nice and nice now um, the only thing we have to do is to just come back through and get a bloody good clean up probably put some heat paint in the exhaust manifold and just last clean ups and we might paint a wee bit of brush paint the wheels um, red just tidy them up and you know, just touch up little bits and pieces on it um, so yeah but basically it's ready to go um, just final clean up this is um, done I think I don't think we're going to do anything else on it um, so yeah I think we're on here the only thing we do is we just want to put that extra coat on there on the exhaust on the exhaust but apart from that, I think this is done. Um, I'm better put my mask away. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is done. So, just hopefully in the next day or so, um, we'll get these outside. We'll do a video, walk around video and bits and pieces and get them out in the sun, make them look good and clean them all. Make sure they're both all cleaned up nice. And um, we might spray a bit of tire black on the tires you know just clean them up make them look really good on the on the rubber on these tires anyway can't do that on that because they're steel <laughs> and stuff like that but yeah we're all but done so yeah oh, the only other thing I'll have to do or redo now is um I decided it was just as easy to paint over that and then I'll just I'll redo the red alrighty guys when I do some more we'll show you some more later
So I'll give you a wee brief update on just the last couple of days' work that sort of Dad's done and I'm going over to the hand today. So, painted the cranking handle. We're going to touch up the wheels with the red, just by hand. But pretty much everything else is done. This is going to have a clean, obviously, still. Um, we're just in the midst of making <coughs> a um, battery box. Here to house a little battery like that. We're not going to have that one, but one like it. Um, this is done. Painted the handle on it, cranking handle. That was pretty much the last little piece. Everything else is done. I think that's is done, done. Um, so yeah. I don't think, don't think there's anything else we've got to do to that now. I think it's buttoned up. So when we get it outside, we'll do a decent walk around it. So I've just been making up this battery box here today. Um, mainly making it out of wood because then it's not conductive. So if something earths, you know, like it's no way for the battery to earth out inside if it was steel or something like that. So we've got to trim the bolts off inside. Um, and we'll paint it and everything up and all that sort of stuff. So we try to make it look as as old fashioned as possible. Use flathead, like um, what do you want to call it? Bolts and nuts and whatever. Um, <laughs> made a little <coughs> bid for it. We're going to use where are they? Oh, these little. Going to use these on the side. So we're just going to make up a little, um, make up a little strap or some description with some with some little ends to, for this to go on to lock down to hold the, the lid on. Metal bolt on. So that's basically, I think that's apart from a clean and paint, just touch up the red um, on the wheels. This is done as well. So yeah, we're just making that box and and touch everything up. Like again, what we've painted the steering wheel, done the ends of the like, um, like the advanced retard on here and the get top of the gear stick. Um, I don't think there's anything else to do, really, um, apart from just a, a clean up where where we wet sanded the tank and it's just put a, a bit of um, like paint water on there. So yeah. I'm not sure if he's going to paint the exhaust manifold or not, but yeah, it just needs clean. And these final touch-ups, oh, I did the, um, repainted the lettering there really today. Touch that up. So yeah. So hopefully, you know, like a little bit more of a video tomorrow, and then, um, depending on the weather, we'll run them outside and we'll do a, a full walk around with them running, and, um, that should be it. And we'll let the guy that know they're done and he's organising somewhere for them to go to. In the meantime, I think I think they're going to go into, into some storage for a little bit until he gets a couple of things sorted out. But yeah, so that's good. They'll be out of here. So I reckon tomorrow, um, hopefully by chance, we'll get that done, touch up the wheels. And depending on the weather, we'll get them outside and do a walk around. And I'll get the video up. So, that's the plan at this point. So it's looking good. Be good to have them done. And then we'll tear back into that Jag. I don't think we're going to worry about the gearbox. Um, I think there's been a plan B for that. Um, really, all it needs is a, there's a, little, a little retainer clip for those. Um, little bits in their gear, but uh, we may we may put it back together and and um, it can be on sold. But yeah, there's been a plan B sorted, so it's I'm not going to probably panic about that, and that probably won't be I've shown again. But yeah, we'll get back into the Jag in the next yeah. Well, one minute I think Mum and Dad go away for the holidays and that the end of this week, so we'll do a bit on the Jag. Um, I might do a bit on it, and then. Hopefully these will be out of here and I'll, I'll start a, I'll try to have a sort out for um, getting this other stuff home and working on that. 
Alright guys, cheers for now, and um, yeah, hopefully one little piece to this video. Alrighty, cheers. Morning guys, so, back out here. So I need to get, if you can see in there, um, some little bolts, the ends of bolts in there. Need to get off there. Um, so I'm just going to put the angry end and the... Um, Burr on the die grinder, wherever it is. And just jam that in the die grinder, and I'll get in here and, and um, grind them off. Um, it's probably the only way I can really do it. I could probably get a hexel blade and maybe run across the end of it. I do have like a little little hexel blade that I can put like a short blade in and get in there and cut it, but I think it'd be just as easy to run that across it. We'll, we'll see what happens anyway. So we can get it and trim down. Um, so we'll get to that, um, I'll just probably hold this in the vise and, and then I can get in there and have a bit of control. Um, I do have a big long burr or two, which I use for porting heads, um, so if I find it's a bit awkward with a short one, I'll, I'll change to the long one and pop on there. But anyway, I'll get this changed over and um, get to it because if we can get these out. Make sure you wear some sort of hearing protection with these things, as you know, they get, it's pretty hard on the ears, <coughs> hence why my old man's deaf. <laughs> well, I'm pretty deaf from just, you know, over years, like back way back in the 60s and stuff like that. They didn't really use hearing protection, and he still barely uses hearing protection. But um, I'll try and keep my ears going for a wee bit longer. <laughs> so I'll get this changed over. That's that bit done. So as you can see in there, they're all ground back now. So that should be good. Battery goes in there, no problems at all. Now I'm not sure I'll just sit that and use that little tab. A little bit of that thing. In there nicely, but it's not dead tight in there. Um, I'm going to make a little, make that so that so you can just lift it out with that. We're going to put like a little piece on it so you can just grab it and pull it out. So you can get a battery in and out if you need to. We'll make a, a space for the wires to come through. Lid goes on it, obviously. And um, like I said yesterday, we've got to um, mount these in 
here. I'm going to make a little little bit to get across the lid that these hook onto and then pull down and clip it down. So we'll get to that and um, yeah, we'll film some more as we go. Alrighty, cheers. Unfortunately, I got stuck inside, but Dad's getting really close with this. He's put a little bit of body filler in there just to fill some imperfections in the wood. He's got the little brackets on there for the off the clips on there for that. So that way comes up, locks down. It's on that side, so yeah. So that's all good to go. Just needs a, a final paint. Um, and punched a hole through here to put the wiring through. If you can see there. And just run the wires through there. Put a decent earth. Got a good earth in here now and bits and pieces. So not far away. Almost done. So we'll do a bit more after lunch and bits and pieces and come back to you. Here's a little box, we're just about done with it. Thought I'd show you. update from yesterday so um we've got the carburetor and the earbox and everything back off this thing um we went to start it yesterday and it's having a few problems with this it was piss and fuel everywhere um we think i had a bit of shit underneath the um the flight like on the um the needle and seat and with the floaters but this is a real strange setup see that piece when it comes up and when it lifts up under back under suction it drags the fuel through when that comes up. It's a real bizarre setup, I suppose, but it is a very old. Um, so, yeah, and this here had a, um, had a big bolt through it because when we had to pull it apart, we might have done make it easier so you could get it on and off without having trying to put a spanner in there and whatever. So, um, this had been drilled out <coughs> at some point, not very well. Um, so, we tapped the hole and um, put a a bolt in there and then we um, turned it down on the lathe and then re the thread so it's at least the same as what it's meant to be through here instead of trying to enlarge these holes and making it very thin and brittle and break so all we're going to do now is wind a nut on it and we'll just we'll trim it all up and get it make it look nice again so and we got the battery box is on in place now so yeah we've got all that all done it's in there all ready to go. As you can 
see what I'll there. See, we made that little strap rolled the ends so the little latches can hook on. Got that all on. Um, wiring through from the back. Put a little, couple of little connectors on it so at least you can pull it apart and pull that through there if you need to, to whatever. So yeah, we'll just, <coughs> just got to fix that. We'll put that carburetor back on now. Hopefully it works properly without pissing fuel everywhere. Because we turned the fuel on there and it just, it run out through the bottom and it was plant running out over top of the bowl and everything. So hopefully we've got that sorted. We've got that sorted. Now we're just going to, yeah, going to put it back together and just make sure everything fits properly and sort that out. And when we're done some more, so you were almost done. Almost done, but you've just got to, just these little funny little silly bits that, you know, you think you've got it done and you just got to something else, you get it tied out and just make sure it's right. Oh, I think we're going to make it a little gasket for in here just so it is sealed properly. Alrighty, we'll get back to you later on. There you go guys, so these two old beasts are finished. Um, had them both outside as you would have seen. Um, and we did a quick video, walk, well, a couple of quick walk rounds. Um, I'll make up a video um, for a dad to send to the um, owner. Because um, to be honest, I'm not sure if he's sending this on YouTube or not. Um, Anyway, I'll turn the um, camera around and just do another quick look at them and um, just tell you what all we sort of finished up today. Righty, so on this thing, um, today we were bugging around with the carburetor. Um, we've had it all apart, cleaned it all up. Um, sprayed a bit more black on here just to clean the exhaust up. But yeah, we sort of pulled all the fittings out of it and polished or buffed them all up the best we could. Um, just touched up a bit, a little bit of paint, put a gasket in the air, and just a few little bits and pieces, um, and got them as running as good as we can. They're really just the carburetors are very sort of old, sort of strange things. You know, they've done a lot of work probably over the years, and we've got them running as good as we can. They, they work pretty good, but you know, the poor design. Like when this is running, this gets really ice cold, so they don't. It's not ideal. Um, you want a little bit of warmth in it, but with the fuel running through it, it gets pretty ice cold. But 
Um, the only thing we are going to do is just give it another, we're going to give it a, a bit of a wash, but apart from that, it's done. Um, you may be still got it. The only other thing we actually we've got to do, but we're not panicked at the moment, is we're just going to touch up the wheels, but um, but everything else, it's, it's basically, we're just call, we're calling it done at now. Um, so, yeah, because his mum and dad are going away on the weekend, so they're done, basically. You know, the quick walk around these. Oh, that's got that battery box in there, as you would have seen. So, yeah, they look good. That one's just kind of a final sort of a clean-up wash. We didn't get a chance to do that today, but we rolled them outside, obviously, and did the walk-around video. So, yeah. Everything is done on these things. Just some minor touch-up, which we won't worry about. We're just going to... We haven't had a chance to... Um, just a little bit of extra touch-up on the wheels and stuff like that. So, yeah. That's it. They're done. Um... If we ever get a chance to go up to where they're going to be housed, we'll do might do a little follow-up. But that could be months away, possibly. Who knows? Just you know, at some point we'll try, once they're sort of back up to where their home is, um, yeah, we, we might do a visit and do a sort of follow-up video or something like that and just show you where they sort of are going to be staying. But apart from that, yeah, these are done. Um, I think the next tool, oh God, got the shivers. <laughs> the next video will probably be me puddling around on this, and um, I'll try and organise this other stuff and get it home if I can over the next while. Um, I might have to do go away, do some other bits and pieces, but in the meantime, but I'm just I'll try and get some work done on this while well, mum and dad are going away I'm all, I'll try and get the front end stripped I'll talk to um, dad a bit later and just or tomorrow or something like that we might get it back down on the ground so I can move it in and out and if I've got to blow any itch or whatever or primer on it or whatever I'll try and get some of the body work sort of cleaned up and get some you know, get a skin of filler on the doors and the guards and stuff like that and sort of just work the, bit, the first part of it in and stuff like that until I can sort of get organised with this other thing that I want to do as a project for me um, myself, so that'd be pretty cool. Alrighty guys, we'll leave it at that, and um, we'll see you next time. Cheers.